Hello, fellow crafters. Are you looking for ways to simplify your paper crafting and still have professional results? In this video, we are going to cover a simple strategy to create two cards with you today. Hi, this is Colleen and Carrie from Scissors to Paper Crafting, where we give you tips, tricks, and strategies that make creating fun, simple, and easy to follow. Today, we're going to do something a bit different. We're going to be making two cards this episode. Two! Not just one, but, but two. two. That way, you can pick which one you want to follow along with, or you can do both. They're a lot of fun. They so are a lot of fun. I will be showing you this cute ray snow globe from Creative Expressions by Susan Wilson. This card has some amazing dimension. We would love to see your version of this card in our Facebook group, Scissors to Paper Crafting. Enough talk, let's get creating. I really got into making this card. The card with stamps and die sets come together quickly for a professional look that you don't have to spend hours putting together. Everything in that stamp set correlates with everything else in the stamp set. Whether you're making Santa, whether you're making the snowman, or whether you're making the penguins. Every one of those sentiments would go with each one. I love working with stamps that have die cuts. This is great having the small ones to, get, to fit into that little that little die cut that you could go and put on top of the um, snow globe. Yeah. Are you using it? I didn't use I, it. I di I'm not using it this one, but I know I'm going to use it for a future one. We're going to start with an A2 card base. I'm using a 110 pound black cardstock from Michaels. I've chosen the black cardstock to really show off the candy canes that I picked for Oops. my topper. Did you not mean <laughs> to do that? <laughs> Let's cut the base. <laughs> Oops. Placing your eight and a half by 11 inch cardstock into your trimmer on the 11 inch side. You'll make your cut at the five and a half inch side. We're going to place our card base on the eight and a half inch side onto our scoreboard. You're going to want to score it at four and one quarter, and you're going to want to go over it a couple of times, pressing deeper each time to get that fold into the groove of the scoreboard without tearing the paper. You're training the fibers of the paper so that they know that they're going to separate. They know that they're going to fold. And we at Scissors to Paper Crafting, when we can, we fold our card right on our scoreboard. That gives us that perfect 90 degree corner on each side. And then we burnish our card down and watch what happens here. That card is going to lay perfectly flat on a table without opening up. And that is what you want to find when you're scoring and folding your card. Moving on to our topper, I decided to go with playful candy canes. Ooh, there's Look the candy cane. Oh, they're so adorable. Because the red snow globe that I pre-cut earlier is going to pop against it. Oh, wow, it really does. Sometimes when you use Love a it. background like that, where it's really, really busy, it's it hard. takes away. But that absolutely does not. Yeah, I think I, I think I like not making it shiny and stuff like that i think it helps i'm liking it i'm liking it yeah recollections christmas six by six paper pad was used for the topper and we did cut it down to four and one eighth by five and a quarter inches now we're going to use our bone folder to run down the sides of our topper to make sure that we don't have any of those raised edges that are going to catch on things like the envelope or anything like that. We do this to get rid of the groove that some trimmers leave when their blade is running across it. Hang on one second here. Hey, take done. your time. Get them all done. We got it here. Sweet. All good to go? All right. Christmas is a holiday that is a crafter's delight. All the paper, the golds, the silvers, the plaids, and other designs we have chosen from. Starting your holiday cards early means more time to spend holidays with your family and friends. Don't forget shopping. Oh, shopping. I like shopping. I love shopping. <laughs> 
Is it Amazon shopping? Or oh, is it Am- shopping? I know, right? Black Friday, any shopping. I don't care. The simple detail in the snow globe stands out just enough without overpowering those candy canes. It was a great choice to use that topper, Colleen. The simple details in these snow globes. It's a classic one. Like, it's not overdone. It doesn't have a lot of scroll work or anything in it. Just a little bit of yeah. stitching. And, nice I, and simple. I can't believe how it stands out against those candy canes perfectly. It just kind of brings the red out without overpowering it. That was a great choice. You see, she cut four of the snow globe shapes just to give it some height. We're going to give the penguins the look of playing inside that snow globe. Nice and happy. They're going to be so thrilled. Now, when you're gluing the globes together, I really want to mention that you want to really line it up, really take your time, hold it up a little bit on an angle like she's doing, line up your bottoms. That's where we start. We start at the bottom and then we just slowly go around the top. It's never going to be perfect. It's it's paper. It's handmade. It's not machine done. And it's part of it. And that's the best part of it. Yeah. It really does add a lot of charm. So that'll look really nice together. That's going to look cute. I used a bright white circle to stamp my penguins into. Break out those colored pencils. Let's bring these guys some life. Woohoo! Look how cute they are. Oh my God. Can you see them good? I can. I think first we'll start with the poppy red to go and do the hats. These colors are so smooth. I haven't really got to play with those pencils yet. I, I can't figure out which ones I like better, the watercolors or the, these pencils, because they, they go so smooth on here. I like the Nuvo watercolors that I picked up, those new ones. The ones I, that I've been using? Yeah, I like those. The ones that like I confiscated from you? Pretty much. That's all right. We share well. Yes, we do. There, I was playing with them the, last week or so. I made a pretty little flower and dragonfly do the earmuffs a little red too they're so cute festive coloring i like that they're not all the same you have two with sweaters and one with a scarf i like that they're not all like duplicate penguins they really did a nice job and they have different expressions on them too so that's kind of cool yeah the only one that's different from colorista is the black pencil because i wasn't able to get black and that's just a crazy art black pencil from, you know, like this that you get at Walmart. Right, right. They're not bad, though. No, it came out really nice. They're not bad. It's the watercolors. We don't have black. Not yet. The colorista, I don't have black. So it was like the crazy little, little um, packet from that you get from the dollar store or Walmart, just like a nice little color black pencil. You can even use the Crayola ones if you want. With the black, you also have the option of using an embossing pen and some embossing powder on them. It kind of adds a little bit of a sheen to it. But with the small details in this one, I don't know how well the um, powder would stick to them. I used it on, what card did I do that? Oh, the uh, wedding one. I used it on a groom in the wedding one. It turned out pretty cute. Oh my gosh, that black really does make them come to life. It does. Just do that little bit on the bottom there. You don't have to have the standard black and white penguin. You can have a pink and white penguin. Have whatever color you want. Little light blue ones. I'm get bringing my color out when I do the sweaters and the scarves. For yeah, the, that's really going to define each one. For the white, I just left white. That's what I like about white paper. You know, or when we're doing something with a sky background and we use blue um, and we're able to color over top of it. Yeah. I like the little swirlies on there that look like wind. I think they're the wire from... Oh, that's the right. Tank, the, lights. the lights. Okay. And there are nice big snowflakes too. Yeah, I've got a plan for that. I bet you do. Can't wait to see it. 
Now, see, we don't always know what the other person is going to do. There's always something about a card that we're making, even on camera, where we kind of keep something hidden. It's usually her embellishments. She usually, you know, those last finishing touches she does on her cards, I, I usually don't know what she's going to use until she does it. And I think that's kind of cool. Okay. The star... I'm going to use Primrose for the nose and the feet. I thought Primrose was um, red. I don't know. I'm not a color specialist. I'm not a color specialist neither. They're coming together nicely. Oh, yeah. Very nicely. So cute. It's amazing what you can do with a little bit of color. And how nicely they glide on. You brag about that all the time, how creamy they are, how easy they are. Can you blend with those? I haven't really tried. I'm sure you can. I'm going to have to give it a go. I could just can never pry them from you because you're always using them. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I do like the Nuvos, though. Even, even if you don't use water with them. Because if you have watercolor pencils, you don't necessarily have to add the, the water to them, you can just color with them. And I, I do like them a lot. Um, there's a bigger collection of those than the Coloristas, which is what we were looking for. You know, a quality pencil that we could get in more colors than the Colorista offered, like the blacks and the grays. Right. Because I don't even think you have gray, do you, with the Colorista? I have one light gray. Oh, okay. I didn't think you even had gray. Yeah, I have a really, really light gray. They come, like, with their own little storage thing. They don't come in, like, a box like the Coloristas did. They're also twice as much as the Coloristas. But yeah, we'll I think see. it's twelve ninety nine for... Yeah, some of them. I, I have a bunch of them in my Amazon cart waiting for them to go on sale. You know me. I wait. I have one. I get a little nervous when I see only five left. <laughs> then she breaks out the card. Yep. The Amazon card. Well, right now I have a gift card sitting on there, so woohoo. I think I have a gift card too. Those are cool. Sometimes with um Amazon, if you choose a different delivery day, they'll give you a dollar here, a dollar there. And I usually stack them up until I have enough to get something. I've done that and it's really cool. It so is. I'm using the sunburst yellow for all the lights. That one's coming out. Like, I can see that one really well on the camera. And I'm not doing the full light because they look like Edison bulbs a little bit. So I'm just giving it like a little kind of glow. Like a little candle flicker. Yeah, just a little bit. Okay, and the first sweater is going to be rich purple. Oh, nice. So I want to know what you guys like to um, color with, add color to your creations with. Are you colored pencils or markers, paint? Um, what kind of things do you put on, on your cards? I can't wait to see some of them. Some of the work that you guys do, we would absolutely love to see it. You are free to post any of the pictures of cards that you've created in our Facebook group, Scissors to Paper. Uh, very easy to join. We don't really even have a questionnaire. We do have some rules that um, are pretty standard across it but we're pretty laid back as long as you're not being rude or using our facebook page as your own personal advertisement we're good with it um we don't sell our products so the only thing that we'll be posting links for things that are sold will be the supplies that we use for any of the cards but feel free to um go ahead and post your stuff we have a uh conversation thing going on in Facebook right now for this card so that you can add your comments and we'll answer them relatively quick quickly. We do stock our Facebook group um, and we'll be doing that from now on. I think that's what we decided, right? Call to just yeah. use the, the chat in our group to be able to just do some Q and A's and hopefully within the next couple videos, We'll be doing a live feed after the cards are finished and after the video for those cards have posted. We'll be doing a Q&A 
within that same little chat thing. So that way, when you're going on the Facebook page, if you click on whatever card it is that we're working on, you'll be able to see the past chats. You'll be able to see, you know, the supplies and everything. And you guys actually get that information before it goes live on Facebook. There'll be a supply list in there. Colleen's working on that now. Oh, yeah. So the other couple of colors that I've used are marigold and sap green. What did you do the marigold? Is that the other sweater? That's the other sweater. Okay. And the sap green's on the scarf. And now I am using azure blue. I think that's how you say it. It's a pretty blue. These Colorista pencils, I believe you had said last time that the harder you press on them, the darker your color gets, but you can actually do like a super light and it's still just as creamy. Oh yeah. They, they uh, well that's, I'm doing the lighter side for the, um, for the blue. Yeah. I see you moving right along there. So it, it does pretty good. Speed colorist. <laughs> Excuse me. You all right over have, there? I have to clear the throat every now and then. Especially when we do these long scene after scene videos. We're actually pulling this video off in just a couple of days. It usually takes us like a week. We'll do a little bit here and there. But I'm feeling pretty good today. I'm excited. Got a good night's sleep. And that's rare. <gasps> woo, woo. That is so rare. How was church this morning? Church was good. Good. Mine spoke on James. That's what we've been talking about for like the last two weeks. We've been talking about the book of James just here and there, verse here and there. And it and it came up that that's what he that's what he taught on. I have had a pretty busy weekend. You have. I you have. Yesterday. I just revamped again. Now we well, yesterday we had our multimedia Matt was over here, which is used for doing embossing and, and painting and all the little paste and all the messy stuff, the glitter. So we had that over on the end of the table. And you'll see that when we do the thing, I'll show you what I mean. But um, it, it just crammed Colleen in. She was like getting claustrophobic over there <laughs> because she had no room because we have so many inks and we have so many things like that. So I moved it all. I put it all on the other side of the room and it, it looks really good. I think we're going to be able to utilize all of our stuff better because now it's all in one place. That okay. looks so good. Penguins are done. Yes. Snow's nice and white. It's beautiful, honey. It's beautiful. So now I'm going to go on to gluing my snow globe to get, like, onto my paper. Gluing on the snow globe. Little dabble do you here. And make sure you put it around just like so. I already have my spot figured out. Yeah, we don't measure when we put things on. I, it, some, I shouldn't say that. Sometimes we do. Um, but for the most part, we just eyeball stuff. You guys went to a concert last weekend, didn't you? Yeah, we went to um, Hawk Haven. It has Root Fest. Okay. Rootstock. Rootstock. And that was pretty good. Yeah, I saw the pictures on Facebook. Medical you know, you can stalk there. her on Facebook. She goes all over the place and visits all kinds of things. And she's always posting pictures and stuff up there. So if you ever want to know where to go in Cape May, New Jersey, she's your gal. Come on down there and visit. Did a little barnishing. <laughs> now, when you lay these guys in here, not only do you want to make sure that they're straight, but they're such a perfect fit that even if one of your layers of your snow globe is off, they're not going to want to go into place. So what I discovered was after putting him in there, you really do need to take the tip of your bone folder and push the edges down so that it adheres to the paper and not to the, you know, your base paper, your topper, and not just the sides of your snow globe. You wouldn't want that guy to fall out. Yeah, it's a snug fit. Yeah. I, that does push it down a lot better when you use those. You can really see if you missed anything. But at least it's a nice fit. It is. It's perfect. There we go. Did a little bit more varnishing in there. <laughs> She's saying it on purple. She's all on purpose. I'm on purple. And then we have my saying here, which is good tidings that I'm just going to like click down here. I'll adhere that. Once you know what you're doing, they come together very quickly. Now, did you get that out of the six by six Christmas pack? Yes, I did. Okay. Yeah, I know. Where I got the one. where I got the candy canes from. 
Yeah, I know it's that already. I got to make sure I put that in the... I don't think I have that listed on the supplies thing. I got to get that on there. Yeah, especially since I used two things out of it. Yeah. A oh, little bit crooked. There we go. And you're using art glitter glue, I think I saw that bottle. Yes. Art glitter glue does give you a couple more seconds to make an adjustment than the Barely Arts. I mean, the Barely Arts just wants to stick and stay stuck. Very cute. Now for my inside. I don't know anything about what she's doing inside. Nothing. I already have my five and a quarter by four and an eighth place card to fit in here. But before I do that, I'm adding my little style. Your little signature move. My little signature move. We're going to be using some Distress Oxide. And it's Mood Lawn. Yeah, Mood Lawn. I love doing this. I know you do. And I'm just lightly putting it on here so that way you can still see whatever wording you have. But you can write on it with the black. Or you can add another little sentiment ditty type thing inside. Right. But still, it'll give it that pop. Nice and light there. And place it down. Um, Varnish it on there a little bit. <laughs> She's a varnishing. I'm a varnishing now. For my little bit of extras, I decided to use reflections. Oh, the snowflakes. Snowflakes. Those things look like little pieces of candy you'd put on a birthday cake or something. So there's the reflections. This is a very little dab. You need some, but it's a very little dab. And I just threw them on there. Oops, if I take my top off. How many are you using? I'm using three, and I'm going to see how the three look. And then I'll go from there. So they make this about as high as your sides, don't they? So they kind of add a lot of yeah. dimension, it looks like. Oh, they look so adorable. That's with the light there. I think three's good. It looks good. It looks so cute. Nice job. Woo woo. So there we have it. There and on the inside. Oh, it's gorgeous. Let us know what you guys think. We'd love to hear your, your comments. Time for Carrie's card. Doing these cards really has me amped for the Christmas crafts we'll be making this year. And I have not even planned them out yet. Commonly, we wait until the end of September, beginning of October, and by December 24th, we're still at it, living on coffee and Christmas cookies. <laughs> this year, my family is going to be celebrating the birth of my granddaughter, and I am super excited about that. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on my card. That is very exciting. It is. Oh, I'm so stoked. I can't wait to meet her. Oh, me either. It's going to be a little girl. I'm excited. Okay, I didn't fold my card, so let me get that happening. My family's going to have some newlyweds this, this Christmas. That's right. Your son yes. is getting married. Yes. That is exciting. I'm actually going to that wedding, so that is exciting. I can't wait. We'll be posting pictures, don't you worry. Stalk our Facebook group. Can't wait. Me either. I'm excited. It's excited. I enjoy excited. doing special things for okay, the kids so around the holidays. Me too. So there is the card. Family time is the absolute best time any day of the year. I am going with Santa. You know, the Santa that you graciously voted woo, for. Woo. Yeah, okay. We'll be stamping him out with the Misty. Let me pull these guys over here. Get him out of there. This is the first time we're using the Misty, isn't it? On camera, it is. It is. We don't, we haven't. We've done everything like hand stamping. My mic is in the way. All right, I'm stamping this guy on, let me make sure I got, I'm using watercolor pencils today. So I'm stamping this guy on watercolor paper. And I don't know if you're going to be able to see them, but the watercolor paper has two sides to it. It has a bumpy side and it has a smooth side. Because I am using the Nouveau pencils that we spoke about, 
I'm going to do the straight, smooth, softer side. Now, when you're stamping with a MISD or any stamping apparatus, actually, um, you want to make sure your stuff stays in the corner. So place your stamp, but don't put him all the way in the corner. He won't stamp right. So you're just going to place your stamp, give that lid a little bit of close, apply a little pressure, and he's going to lift up. Now, if you noticed, it lifted the paper. So just make sure that it goes back into the corner when you stamp it. Today, I'm going to be using a Picket Fence Black Hybrid ink. It is waterproof, so that's important. I can't wait to show them the technique I'll be doing. Oh, I love it. I love it. The technique. I know, Absolutely it's love the technique. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. So we're gonna give this guy a go. So here. since you're using pencils, I guess that makes you a pencil pusher, huh? <laughs> yes, it does. Oh my gosh. You're corny. <laughs> you're so corny. Well, I, I'm in love with the I mean, you're in love with the coloristas. Yeah. You know, I'm in love with these nouveau pencils. I would I suck at coloring always no, growing up do. I just sucked at it but now that I'm older I guess I'm taking my time it's I'm not in such a hurry to do it um You're not being graded on it I'm not being graded on it okay so here is Santa there he is happy happy Santa uh call would you mind doing me a favor do you think you could um cut this one for me because we didn't sure we didn't cut it because I wanted to show them the stamp and um we usually clean our stamps off with not alcohol with water so that way i'm not adding any chemicals to it that are gonna mess it up because once you start stamping with a stamp it um kind of holds on to a little bit of the ink to give it some uh, traction for your next ink i'm probably gonna have to clean this guy off with some stays on later because this stuff does not like to come off Okay, pop him back in his package. Let's get this out of the way. We won't be using this ink anymore. So there he is. I'm gonna give him a second to dry. He's, oh, I forgot to put the magnet back in the Misty. It does come with one magnet, but I think I'm going to go ahead and purchase a couple more, especially if we're doing like big stamps and stuff. And there's times you forget. Yeah, yeah, there are. There really are. <laughs> I forget about a lot of things. Okay, so while he's drying, how about we glue our snow globe pieces together? Okay, so for this one, we didn't use any foam or styrofoam or anything to build this guy up. We just cut out eight of the snow globes from the die. I already pre-glued... Well, I think there's nine, actually. I already pre-glued pre the four and four, so that way it will go a little bit quicker. The way I like to do this, when you have a die like this, it makes it easy. There's this little groove that goes all the way around the circle that I absolutely love because I can just fill the glue, if it comes out, I can just fill the glue into... Uh-oh. little dab will do you. Yeah, well, I need to get a little dab did, out first. Did you put that pin in? Yeah, I guess I didn't. I mean, I, I guess I, I'm going to lose the pin. I <laughs> guess I didn't push it in because the glue dried. And that might have happened because I just forgot pulled it out earlier and let it, and it was sitting here because the stuff does dry pretty quick. So we're going to get a little dab will do you. Yeah. I'm not saying that, call. That is your thing. It is my thing. Uh, I'm putting just a tiny bit. Um, I don't know if you can even see because it's white on white. And what I like to do is I like to start at the bottom and line the bottom up. And I won't let this these two up here connect until I have that bottom perfectly connected. And then I'll slowly walk my finger up each side and make sure I keep her nice and straight. I'm not really applying any pressure yet because I want to make sure that it's completely lined up. This little circle is an exact fit. So if I don't get this lined up correctly, we're going to have an issue getting Santa in his little home. But I think we're good there. Go ahead, say it. What am I doing? <laughs> You're burnishing. I'm burnishing. The first time I said it to her, I think I applied a funny accent or something to it because she is stuck with that. You're not gluing that on, are you? This one I am, yeah. It's not the top. No, 
No. What are you talking about? No. You have the top piece separate? Yes, it's over here. Yeah, I do. Don't start. I know where you're going with that. Don't start. Okay. Just checking. Don't start. You remember the Just first, like, what, four shaker cards? Four or five, <laughs> however many. That was talk about. I mean, everybody has those embarrassing crafting moments where you just repeat the same thing a same few times. Yeah, because I was annoyed. And I and I think when you get annoyed, your brain just kind of freezes. So I'm sure it's happened to others. Um, but I uh, forgot to glue the. Um, well, no, what I did was. I glued my my shaker piece to my card topper and I didn't put the insides in. Instead, I put the acetate on top of it. And then I was like, oh, no. So I had to start all over again. You can't pull that stuff off. We use red tape to adhere them and you can't pull this off. It will it just destroyed the paper. Not like the pockets. It just destroyed it. Okay, so his he he is dry. All right, let's get working on Santa. Let's get working on Santa. And you're gonna use the new no, no nouveau pencil. pencils. I'm gonna start out with the elementary midtones. And I'm gonna do this with a twist. There's an exciting little technique here that I'm going to use. Um, and I think you guys are gonna love it. So they color really nice too. They do. Their watercolors, they, they color really nice. They do. I like them. I really do. And I like the fact that you don't have to use a lot of pressure with them. The colors are so deep and so dark. Um, and with this technique that we're going to be doing in a moment here, it really does a lot for this for this coloring. I thought the other pencils that I had were good, the the other watercolor pencils I had, mm -hmm. but I think I really think I like the those are second to my colorists. Oh, absolutely. These so are So it's I these are awesome. I'm so happy that we're getting we're getting another pack on Wednesday. It's coming. Yeah, well with Wednesday these guys or? being um normal price of like between 15 and 20 dollars on Amazon, we absolutely wait till these bad boys go on sale. Before just, we before we do it, I need my glasses. I can't see. I need my eyeballs. I just got a set that has like a lot more of the primary colors. It has white and black in it. Yeah, that would have come in handy today. But and that's okay. Yeah, it would have came came in handy for those penguins there. Oh uh, yeah, it absolutely would have. You wouldn't have had to use the other ones. And uh I got them for eleven eighty two. No. Oh, that's not bad. Eleven eleven eighty two or eleven ninety nine on uh Amazon. Do you know I actually sale. I actually found these midtones. They went on sale on Amazon for seven ninety nine, which is wow. what made me try them. In the beginning, I was like, "Yeah, these aren't going to work very well at seven ninety nine, but they turned out to be one of the better ones that we have in our collections. What's the other one we have? the The other set of watercolor pencils. What's the brand of that? They are. Do you remember? I will look one second here. They are. Are, Artist Loft. Okay, they're from Michaels. And they work okay. Um, they're not that impressive, but they do work okay. But I still didn't have a black in those. No. I have a white. If you need white, I have a white. No, I'm I'm okay. I'm gonna use um my jelly roll pen. Gotcha. Because I can put the little curls in his little beard. Let me get some dark lines. That in makes there. sense. I probably should have thrown this one in the sharpener, but I'll be okay. So, do you want to discuss what you're using to blend them? Let it, let something be a surprise. Let's not get okay. ahead of ourselves. Okay. Just trying to, like, you know, <laughs> fill in there some. I color a little differently than Colleen. She um, tends to work from the outside in, and I tend to work from the inside out. And I also do it in circles instead of straight lines. Because it tends to to not not give that um that harsh look when you get to the end of the line and everything, right? So it the circles kind of yeah. make it a little bit more smoother looking, and you can't see where you stopped. Yeah, 
Now, with these guys, you really don't have... See, I have a lot of white showing. You really don't need to fill it completely in when you're using the watercolors. You really don't. You can leave... You can leave some white showing, and you'll see why in a minute. It's kind of faster, too, I think, when you use watercolors. Definitely faster than Copics, because I can spend hours blending Copics to get that, you know. Yeah, you do really good with Copics. Perfection thing. I haven't mastered that yet. Well, I can paint. Um, I can paint. I just haven't done it in so long that um, it kind of makes me nervous to do it. So maybe I'll just have to, I'll just have to do it. So I remember the first shaker that I made <laughs> was a teacup. Yeah, it was. It was cute. And it Super was, cute. it was really cute. Super cute. And the challenge was trying to figure out what pieces went where, since Amazon doesn't give you a lot of directions when, with generic dyes. They really don't. And that is like the one thing that's annoying. They're a great price. Um, maybe that's why. But that's the one thing that annoys me about some of the um, generic blend, um, vendors out there. They don't, they don't give us directions. But yeah, I do remember that. You were so frustrated. And that was, that was when we were trying to find the styrofoam to fill in the center. Right. So instead of using the, the styrofoam, we decided to use um, the colored foam that you get for crafting. Yeah. I think and it's just called foam. I think it's just called craft it? foam. I think so. You can grab it at Michael's, but I don't know. I had a big, giant bag of it with a ton of different colors, and I have no idea where I got that from. Let me just take a look and peek. And this one is the pastel highlights. So we're just going to take a little peek in here because there's a pretty blue that I think I'm going to just kind of put in here. Go ahead, finish your story about it. So we, here. we went in the... I went and used that, die cut it out, used that for it, gave it enough lift. I think it was only two two pieces that I needed. Gave it a nice lift and everything and worked really well with uh with doing doing the shaker. It did. It really did. Um the reason I didn't use the foam this time is because I wanted to see how many layers of paper it needed and we have so many scraps in bin and stuff that I wanted to kind of get rid of some of them, so. And I also don't think we had white. No, we we have a couple. Um, Do we? Yeah, there's a couple pieces in there away. One of them had some discoloring on the. Yeah, white, white you need to. On the corners. You need to be particular about. You do, especially when you want it to brighten up. I just didn't want this to be a different color from the side, and I don't have. We don't have any kind of white um, paint or anything that I could have made everything uniform. So that's why I decided to use to use the paper. And you were the one that turned me on to shakers. <laughs> They're fun. And it was like I did that one and then you off were I went. <laughs> you were hooked. Every time I turn around, she's bringing a new shaker card, Diane. Look at this we one. We had a seashell, a bumblebee. The bumblebee was adorable. The bumblebee's awesome. That's on, the, I think, isn't that in the Facebook group? Um, which I is, think it was on one of the reels that you did or one of the shorts that you did. I don't, I haven't seen it in the Facebook group. Maybe you should. On Instagram. Maybe that's one of the things that we should work on this week is getting all of, not necessarily the videos, but pulling out, because we haven't given out any cards in a little bit, um, pulling out the cards that are already completed and um, get photos of them on Facebook. Maybe yeah. do a photo album or something and we'll pin it to the top so that way people can go in and then we can add, you can add other um, cards to it. So when our when our viewers go in and decide that they're going to start posting things, we will have, we will have them. That would be really nice. We have green down there. So let's do yellow maybe on this guy. Yeah, yellow. And then we got a lemonade cup. I you did the lemonade. I found um, a lemonade stand on Amazon this morning. It was actually an email that I had gotten. So, yeah, I'm going to probably order that one. It is a shaker. And um, I'm going to find get – I was looking this morning for those cute little um, – what you call it? It's little lemons that we could put in 
that we could put in Oh, there. that would be really cute. Yeah. Now I'm waiting on coloring his belt because I'm actually going to do a lot of this, sh the black, I'm going to shade it with um, a jelly roll pen. So, all right, now we're going to get into this exciting stuff called Gamsol. It's from Gamblin. And what it is, is it's mineral spirits, but it's completely odorless, has no color, doesn't really cause some kind of haze or anything to go over it, as you'll see. It's great stuff. So we're going to go ahead. You don't need a whole lot of it. It is an oil. And I'm going to be using these. I think I spilled it. No, I didn't. Yes, I did. I'm going to be using, what are they called? I forget. Blending, blending sticks. Blending sticks. I'm going to be using blending sticks today. And I have a very thin one. It's number one. And it's paper. It absolutely is just, it's just paper and it kind of peels and, and all that stuff. But you just kind of saturate it in the gamsel. And then you run it over your marks and it kind of lifts, it gives it a little bit of a lift and pulls it because it's a, it's an oil. Um, so see what, how it just makes all of these little strokes I did just completely come together and there's no, whoops, that's all blurry and there's no white in there. Sorry about our cameras. We're, that's one of the things we do need to update call our, our cameras. Eventually here. Eventually. Yeah. I love using the game saw. I do too. It's, it's so smooth. And it, it's, it just blends. Like I've done it to where you trace the outline and then bring it in and it gets rid of the outline. Oh, the that outline fade darker, one. And then you fade it in and it looks really, really nice. Like you, you just use paint or something with it. it. There's no, there's no marking whatsoever that you could tell it was a pencil. Now it kind of, it, this isn't either. This kind of does, when I'm finished here, you'll see that it kind of does, it looks like I used a marker. And like I said, it all comes together and fills in. This is where I do the circles. I don't really like monitor what I do. Until you start looking at until it. Until I realizing. start paying attention and doing videos, like how to's and stuff. Then we were But like, it is odorless and clear. It is. It, there's it no odor to it at all. Great pigment. Love the color that love how the color comes out with it. I do like how when you were talking about um, where you take the the really dark lines and pull from them, that gives some amazing effect and shadows. Kind of covers the black too, the black ink that's underneath. Which I did. I only stamped this guy one time. Um, if you noticed, I did not make the black really really black. Because I knew that I was going to be doing this and I didn't want it to be so overpowering and spread or whatever. So I just stamped them really, really lightly. I'll be going over them with one of the jelly roll pens. But see, it just looks like I, um, it looks like I colored him with a marker. Or I do. Airbrushed him. Airbrushed him. There you go. Now we haven't done that yet. Um, I do want to mention the Santa stamp in here, not my favorite. There's not a lot of detail in his face, so I really got to be creative here. It's a tough one. It really is. I was like, man, why'd you vote for Santa? We were talking about that this morning. I'm like, why did you vote for Santa? Well, I did the penguins. And I did you the did... snowman first to try out the stamp. Yeah. But they didn't, they did see that one. You did show it, I think. I think I did it in the picture. Yeah. Yeah, and we did a picture of it. So I figured we haven't done Santa yet, so... I get why you said it. I'm just going to try to get this to cream out just a little bit more. But the Santa came... The snowman came out really good. The penguins came out really good. Santa's going to come out good, I hope. <laughs> it will. It'll be awful if he doesn't. All right. Santa will come out good. Santa always comes out good. Get his gloves. I'm glad I had three and four different shades of red, though. Yeah. And I'll list the colors I used in the description if you're interested. But Okay. Now, I did a darker blue here in the corners. And what I'm going to do is that thing she talked about where I'm going to push it out. I'm probably shaking the crap out of my camera. 
is I'm going to push it out away from the sides just to kind of give a little bit of a blue hue. But around the Santa, I did it a little, I did the blue a little heavier. Going to kind of give him some shadow, some, you know, painting dimension. Just a little bit. Just a little just dabble, a little do you? Bit. Oh, now she's breaking out in song. Look out. Just a little bit. <laughs> So you also came up with, are you going to do a video about what you did yesterday or? With the other card? Yeah. I don't know. I'm debating on it. Okay. Because she has a cool idea that she came up with yesterday. I'm, I, I've never seen it done. So she might be, this might be a Colleen first, um, first person, but you want to tell them what you did? I went and stamped or die cut my base card with the snow globe and then put a snow globe in the center of it and had the topper with the snow globe cut out and then cut the other side of another topper with the snow globe cut out. I know it sounds complicated. Basically her card, when you look at it before she did it, her front, the front part of her card base, her topper and everything had the cutout in it. So if you can imagine, you know, why don't you give it to me and so I'll show them. <laughs> I colored both sides of the sand, the snowman <clears throat> and went and made it to where you could see the snow globe on both sides. It's really cool. It's really cool. When she was Bring first it talking over. about it, she said, oh, I'm going to do a window. So I was thinking, you know, ho house window with painting, you know, painted on that way. All right. I think I am going to have to add water to this because the I don't want to put so much oil on this that it, it's too shiny. Here, let me see. Okay. So let me show you. See, she did her little snowman on the front. But then when you open the card, he's inside too. So that's what she did. I think it's cute. I think it's really cute. It was a good idea. It was. She's a designer now. We're going to start calling her a card designer now. All right. I think I'm going to switch to water after I get the. Yeah. I don't think I've seen anybody do something like that in all the, yeah, all the card lists that we have and everything. Yeah. I have not seen it now. I've seen some cool stuff out there, but I've not seen that done yet. So that was pretty neat. I like doing the fun fold cards too. They're oh yeah, they're pretty cool. Just the different ways that people have come up with folding them. But we'll be showing every we'll be showing off all that stuff, and we do give credit to the person that we got the idea from their video. Um, that'll always be linked. Oh, definitely. Yeah. We don't. We don't. We, we don't, don't steal not, other people's stuff. Yeah, we always acknowledge. Have to. Definitely, always acknowledge. And and I think that's pretty standard across creators everywhere. I think everyone does it. Okay, so just a little bit more in here, and I'll do the bricks, and then we'll move on to the water. Uh, so. What do you think we should do next week? I don't know. I'm trying to get through this week, to be honest. <laughs> so my mat, this is actually the Tonic Studio Tim Holtz Media Mat. And it came with this cool little crafty piece. And you can blend on it. You can, it ha actually it has little squares that you can put the small little, um, what are they called? The distress oxides that they perfectly fit in here. So you can stamp oh, the well. colors right on there and add some water right to it. And, and yeah, you're good. That's awesome. I'm going to work with this guy. I just put a little tiny bit of water on my brush and, and then I spread it around so that like it's gone. So there's not there. So let's just get some of this sky pulled. Now with this mineral oil, like I said, it kind of makes the color, you probably can see it, kind of makes the color float so you can move it around with your with your brush. But the key is to keep as little water on your brush as you can with watercolors so that they don't wind up spreading out so much that they blend in with your other colors. So you just keep it. Yeah, because then you end up with a smudgy look. 
Yeah, just keep it less than damp. Like I really do brush off a lot of it. And pay attention to what the colors are doing and you'll know whether or not you have too much water on there. But see, now you can barely see the blue. It's just kind of... Santa's looking pretty snazzy. He is. His face is like... Not impressed there at all. Just not. I've been complaining about it all morning because I did color him quite a few times. There goes Colleen's phone. Not my phone. Really? Not my phone. I wonder what it was. My Ooh. phone's on silent. Nice. I really should do that. Huh? <laughs> if you don't want people knowing that you called. <laughs> people usually know our, like, People that we know, like that would call us, usually know our filming schedule. We're not usually filming today. Today we don't usually film. Yeah, so that would get a little, a little off track. editing day. But we had a Oopsies. visit. Well, we had a visit, too, um, from your wonderful hubby. Yes, we did. Um, he, was, he came and popped in. Not that that stopped us from filming, but it kind of stopped us from filming because... He was playing with my dogs. I have a boxer and a bulldog, and my bulldog crushes on Nick. He's like, he has. He a, loves him. He, he does. absolutely adores him. He walks through the door, and my gunny, that's my bulldog's name, just goes ballistic. He looks for him now. He when does. I walk in, he really looks for him. It's so funny. I did tell Nick that all the time. <laughs> gunny was looking for you again. Always is. And he just kind of popped in. Like, he sent his wife a text. He was like, hey, I'm going to remember say hi to the dogs. Not to anybody else. Yeah. Just the dogs. Well, you know, she's she's loved. <laughs> He's not a people person. <clears throat> no, but he is give a very him a cool. dog. Give him a dog anytime, and he'll make friends with that dog. Oops. Yeah, his attention to the, when I first brought Gunny, they invited us out to... Um, this little vineyard they were visiting and I took I took Gunny this is when he was in service training um I took him out and Nick got a hold of him and that was it he like he still paid attention like he still talked to us he's he wasn't like completely engorged with the dog but I'll tell you that dog wound up with what two prime rib sandwiches I that think day? so holy vey I was like dude we don't give him that much I, I think so. Well, Nick is Nick. Nick gives people food to the dogs. Well, he showed. He found out Axel like Axel's the boxer. He found out Axel like the. Um, my husband eats pop tarts, and he pulls like the part that doesn't have any sugar on it. He pulls that off and he shares it with the boxer. So, um, my boxer is very. Um, protective um, so I don't trust him around a lot of people so what I do is I usually put him put him in you know in the bedroom or and it's a big bedroom so he's not suffering um, I either put him in the bedroom or um, I put him outside and let him play for a bit but uh, this day in particular I knew Nick was going to be coming around a lot and it takes Axel with women he's fine Men is where he struggles and there's a, there's a story behind it, but he, um, came in with pop -tarts. What, four packs of pop tarts. I think it was two packs of pop tarts with two each in the pop tart. Oh, I couldn't believe it. I was like, dude, don't give them all this. They were so wound up. They were like little kids with candy. I'm but like, they loved them. They did. Just no more frosting for them. I they loved them. Gunny misbehaves so bad when Nick's here, do you? He really does misbehave. Okay, so there is that. I think what I'm going to do is add a little bit of gray. If I can find... I think there's gray. I believe there was. I'm going to add a little bit of gray in the... Yeah, there we go. I'm going to add some gray into this. Make it more, look more like concrete. So I'm just going to do... The just a corner. tiny bit. Little dab. Like Colleen says, little dabs. Little dab. Little dabs. Not too much. Just kind of put just enough, you know, give it a little bit of shadow, give it a little bit of eye dimension. Eye candy. Put some down in the snow. 
Get some targets in there. <laughs> That's it. I mean, I don't With want the snow to look dirty, but I do want it to look footprint like it. there's some shading in there. No, I'm not putting footprints in there. I'm not that talented. Then the points aren't the points aren't really sharp enough to actually draw. Well, Santa does have dirty boots, so I think she's tormenting me. Me torment? No, no. not at all. Not you. Never. Why would I think that? Never. Oops. I almost put it in the water. That would have stunk. And then I'm just going to pull it. I'm just going to pull it across. I'm probably not going to touch this with water. I'm just going to pull it across just to kind of spread it out lightly. Add some shadow in there. And then we'll add some black with the jelly rolls. This guy's getting pretty blunt, too. These need to, one thing about you these. You have to peel them. That's what I was just going to say. One thing about these guys is you have to peel them after you use them if you're not, unless you're going to have one for every color that you have. Because um, if you don't peel them, it will blend with the color before. Right. So they need to be, they need to be peeled. I don't know if you can put them in a pencil sharpener or not. I was I trying. I think to... there's, I think there's something about peeling it. So, um, like a satisfaction in there or something you mean or no i think there's i think there's i'm gonna try to get this more even it's kind of uneven a bit i think because of how they are made now right here i don't know if you can if it's picking it up but where was that spot now right here it kind of bled through a little bit it is really blurry um might be my glasses. So the mono sand erasers work amazing for this. This will go in there. Just take a little corner and it'll go in there. And they, it actually does have sand in it. So it, it acts kind of like a very, very fine sandpaper. Now, of course, you want to wait until everything's dry. But I can get that in there and take care of any little misses I have. Or if I throw the red in the top with the Gamsol, geez, that's what I meant by your colors bleed into the next. Okay, oh, no. so I'm not playing with that anymore. It's fine. It's just a little bit. Let me get it off. It'll come off. It'll come off once it dries. Okay, so now we're going to break into... I'm going to be using a point liner pencil from Pentel. It is water and fade resistant. So that's really important that you use one that is water resistant. And I'm get, just going to come in here and I'm just going to really, really outline some key points for this so that it brings them out a little better, gives a little bit more detail, add some more shading into it. I like how you taught me how to use those. Yeah, these are pretty cool. They add, they, they do add some dimension when you want it. They do, and they help you with shadows and just those little tiny details that are so important. Like these little folds in this bag are really important. And because I did the ink so light, um, you really can't see them. And one of the things that I do is... When I get to a point where I want it to break up, I'll actually use dots, which you'll see in a minute. But I actually use dots with the pen instead of doing the strokes because it just fills it in a little bit better without making your line thicker. It kind of spreads it out like I'll do it in here. Right. And it kind of gives you more, at least it gives me more control. Oh, that's good. Over the... Over the pen and like where the lines are going. And on flat, making dots on flowers really, really sets the flower off. The flower? Yeah, when you do flowers, oh. when you do the little dots. You had me confused there. I thought in you the were flower doing petals. No. <laughs> we're gonna be, I'm just talking about the technique. You know, when I do, do like a sunflower or something and I'll use the little dots around the petal, it yeah. really makes it, it really makes it 
look realistic. You okay over there? Yeah. There's um bottled water and got my tea in there. Okay. Thank I think you. Your tea's not really doing the job. <laughs> Worrying about That's because you. it's only tea. Ah, uh, you're funny. <laughs> I try to be. Are you saying we need to go to the store? We probably do. All right. Eventually. After the video. Oh, speaking of stores, went to Walmart this morning. I'm sorry. I was like, holy smacks. They were out of gin Canada dry ginger ale. They were out of milk <laughs> the other day. Oh, they had milk today. Today. We live in a resort area so in the summertime it is insane the things that the stores are out of but i was like and really? walmart is vicious they're they never order enough stuff it doesn't make sense to me either because they know the season they, they've been here for what 10 years no has it been that long i think so wow i didn't realize it was that long i think so i did not realize it was that long we had to do, uh, we did self-checkout, and we had cat food with us. But instead of buying the box of cat food, we bought the cans of cat food this time because the cats are picky. They don't want to eat salmon. Right. And the seafood one comes in with salmon. Right. So Nick goes and gets, he thought, a 12-pack of each of the kinds that they like. Right. I'm like... There's two rows there. So instead of having 36 of cans oh, no. of tuna or cans of um, cat food, we came out with 72 cans of cat food. Wow, I guess you won't be running out for a while. So little Mariposa, or not Mariposa, little Maya is going to be one happy kitty for a while. Is that like her favorite one? She she likes three of them. They get sick on the salmon, so we we don't want to waste the salmon. Right. And then we have to watch. We have to stand out there because Loki will go. Loki, our boxer, will end up going and getting the cat food while the cats are eating it. He'll he'll go and try and get on the table to go and eat the cat food. <laughs> so if we're not standing out there, he'll go do it. If we're standing out there, he knows we're watching and he'll leave the cats eat. So. Right. Right. He's funny. Oh, he's funny, all right. Yep. He's a riot. Hey, I got one, too. I know. Well, they're brothers, so. They are so smart. Oh, my gosh. They are. They are so smart. My axle can open the refrigerator. I'm, I'd be afraid if, if Loki was able to re open the refrigerator. Well, you know, I need to keep my, I need to keep my deadbolt locked because he opens the front door. Yeah. He doesn't take off, though. Um, he just wants to go in the car. He wants to go to Mr. Softies and get a pup cup. That's what that's about. That's why he doesn't. Oh, it's pup cup time. But my other pup, Gracie, I think she'd be the one, that, the first one to go open the refrigerator door. She's a she, lab, right? She's lab in Old English Bulldog. So. You can definitely see the lab in her. She's oh yeah, pretty. she's got she's got the lab face, and then I think the bulldog body. Yeah, she's a really pretty dog. And then we have Honey. Honey, honey loves honey. everybody. She does. She's friendly. And Colleen keeps um, this box of some kind of dog treat on milk the counter, bones. milk bones, on the counter at her place. And um, every time I go over there, like you teach him a new trick. Yeah, I teach him a new trick, and. Um, they all get excited when they see me. Sometimes Colleen will say, all right, that's enough dog bones. Like, Can I just do one more? Because her dog, Loki, would not shake. Like, she could not get that dog to shake for anything. Um, I don't know why, but he just did not like his paws touched. So I spent a little bit of time with him. I train dogs, so. And I spent a little bit of time with him and um, got him got him shake. It really didn't take him long because he's very intelligent. They're just something about a dog's paws. They don't like, like if you, you can touch Axel, he will shake. He will let you hold his paw. He will let you cut his nails. But if you say the words, I'm going to get your puppy feet, forget it. He like, 
It and was the, nuts. I don't know why. I don't, the crazy thing is, is that I went and I played with their feet and their tail just to make sure that they would be okay when they were puppies. Yeah. I played with their feet and their tail to make sure, and I put my hand in their food to make sure that they would be okay. And then Loki goes and takes his food and the girl's food. I've seen and him. spreads it across the floor. I've seen him, man. Bowl, he just dumps it. Dumps it across the floor. <laughs> you guys don't get to eat. And then he'll get mad if the girls go over by his bowl while he's eating from the one bowl. He just, have you ever tried just feeding him first? He, they all eat together. No, I understand well, that. Well, he, just... he does kind of eat first. Well, because he destroys all the kibble food so the girls can't eat it. Because the girls won't eat from, like, once in a while if Gracie's really hungry, she'll eat from the bowl. But other than that, I'll put the bowl down and Gracie's looking for it on the floor. Yeah, because she knows that Loki is the alpha dog. So if Loki says they can't eat yet, they can't eat yet. It's the way it works in doggy language. So he's growled at him a couple times and he's been yelled at for being for growling at the girls. So well, that's part of his job is to keep them in line. Oh. In doggy world. In doggy but Boy. he's the baby. He is the baby, but he's also an alpha male. I mean, that dog, he is an alpha male. You can't deny that. He just look at him. Yeah. He's a beast. When we had bear, when we had five dogs at one time. I don't know how you did it. I have two and it drives me crazy. I don't know how I did it either. Okay. So there, he's looking much better. Yeah. And then I'm just. So going to not do a whole lot with these snowflakes but i'm going to do enough to where they're a little bit darker a little bit more detailed just so they show up a little better inside the card because they're going to have white um white flakes in the thing they're just circles though i didn't actually do snowflakes so i'm going to Darken this. I think I'm going to add some gray here. Darken that up a little bit. You ever do that? You like get, you're like, oh, well, I'm done. Oh, crap. No, I'm not. No, I've got to do a little bit more. No, I just want to add some shadow in here. Not a lot, just a little bit. They're going to kind of make this thing look like it. it comes down. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our page. Oh, yeah. Please don't forget. We like when you stalk us. We love it when you stalk us. <laughs> What is it we said that one time? Like, what was it? Like, like subscribe and something. I forget the other part of it. It was funny, though. I'll have to look it up in the other video. And be sure to check out our Facebook page. We can't talk enough about that Facebook group because that Facebook group can, we really want that thing to become something as far as, you know, where everyone posts their stuff and we, we really do want it to be active. We want to be able to just jump on it and chat. Um, so that's why we mention it so much. And I'm usually on there every day. Yes, yeah, so I'm I check it. I even check that thing in the middle of the night. I, so I do I. When I can't sleep. I suffer from insomnia. Legitly, you know, it's not. As my husband sends me posts. Yeah, he's always on there. He likes Facebook. He's like Facebook guru. You both are. I I don't know. I could do with or without it. Well, right. right now I'm in the middle of reading a book too, so it's kind of crazy. A book. A and book. You still read books? I still read books, and it's got to be the real book. Like actual books? Yeah, I don't do a Kindle. Nice. I don't do it online because my girlfriend that I've been... I've been reading um, Poppy McCallie, McAllister's Mysteries by Libby Klein. Okay. I have all my books signed by her. Okay. My points are jacked. Can I, do you have another Gamsol or another one of these? Let me see this one. No, never mind. I'm good. Is it clean? Yeah, I got it. The point on that one just totally disintegrated. So even with this waterproof ink pen, I can still pull some of the black from it. So that's kind of what I'm doing, just to give some shading. And that'll be the last thing I do as far as coloring goes, because I don't want to smear it. 
I don't want it all to be smeared, but I do want to put some shading in it. Just a little bit, not Just much. Just a little bit. Yeah, not much. Just enough to, you know, make it, make it a little bit better. There we go. So there's Santa. Um, I think I could have done better if the stamp was better, but that's okay. We're good. Um, these media mats clean up so easily. I have a little, a little painting thing that that's it's, it's, it's shove everything in it. <laughs> All right, and this guy cleans up so easily. You just take some water, spray it a little bit. Oops. It'll even take like ink off really easily, and it the stu the water stays on there. Like it doesn't dry right away. I don't know how it works, but um, I don't have to constantly spray it every time I want to use it. Oh, that's good. So I do want to try to get some of this red off the top that I. So if you check out go. our Facebook page, you can see my new set of headphones. <laughs> That's right. Colleen's favorite color is pink. And I was at Staples and they had um they had these these pink this pink headset was on sale and I absolutely had to grab it for. Her. Okay, so now and we're they have going. lights. They have lights. RGB lights. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and assemble this bad boy. I'm doing it's about time. I know, right? I'm doing three layers on my card. I've got my card, well, four if you count the base. I've got my base, and then I'm going to do a white layer on the base just to kind of give it some stability since this will be a shaker card. We're going to get that glued on. I have my mic really low. I keep smacking it. Little dab will do you. Mine's more like a stream. Dab that. Mine's more like a little stream. Dab this. Dab that. Is that your word today? Dab it? Dab it. It's better Gosh, than, dab it. It's better than what you could say for <laughs> sure. Okay. And your embellishments are going to be a surprise. Yeah. You don't know what I'm using. No, I don't. Oh, cool. Well, you know it's going in the shaker, though. I, no. No, I said it. You weren't paying attention. I'll bet the viewers know. I bet they do. <laughs> I think you should comment. Well, if we were doing a live show, they could. <laughs> but <laughs> once they get to the end of the video, they're going to know anyway if they weren't. If they didn't hear it. Look at these pretty points. That is, I'm so, I, you know, double-sided paper is awesome, but it's so hard because you have to choose. Choose a side. Choose a side. Pick me, pick me. Okay. I only did um, a 16th of an inch on these guys. So I have to make sure that it lays right before burnishing it down. There we go. Aren't these green? What was that? Burnishing or burnishing? Burnishing. Burnishing them down. Okay. So I just love these green snowflakes. And when I put the lights on top, oh, yeah, that's striped. I put the lights on top, it looks so cool on the edges because it just kind of peeks through a little bit. Gives it that Christmassy feel. It does. I'm excited to start doing more Christmas crafts. So am I. We probably really won't start doing tutorials on Christmas cards until October, but we wanted to get this one in. I'm going to get this guy in. That's because he's new to us. He is. He's so cute. I like him. Okay. So now, there we go. Oh, that's what I was worried about. What? That's why I wasn't concentrating on what you were putting on the inside. I was worried about, like, how you were gluing. Oh, you're concerned about... <laughs> I was going to stop you before you did it. Yeah, she's concerned about me putting the topper on before I put the acetate on. acetate on or putting the acetate on before i fill the thing she like had all these things that she's going to watch out for oh i said i was going to put it at the bottom shoot i might see me i got you going nah that's all right i always screw up somewhere because of i think it's because of the way my brain works i'm always like i don't have add i don't think well i was never tested for it but i don't think i have add because i can 
I can concentrate pretty well. I can do more than one thing. But sometimes my brain just does not like. That's a pretty high. Yeah. That's really good. It with, is with because what, of what I'm because of what I'm doing. Yeah, this is nine layers of 110 pound cardstock, and then Santa is done with some watercolor paper. Is pretty thick. I think this is Tim Holtz. I'm not sure. It oh, was, it's not Bristol. No, this is not Bristol. This is actual watercolor paper. Let's see, I must have. I use the bone folder to make sure this Santa sits down in here really well. I'm really grateful for the way they did it, for how tightly they put this guy. Yeah. Because you don't have to worry about the shaker pieces falling underneath of the sides. Like, you don't have to worry about that. That would be terrible. At all with this guy. Okay. So there he is. There is Santa. He is safe in his little home. Now we're going to cap my glue. Because you saw what happened when I don't. Yeah, we don't want that to happen. It happens all the time. And the, happened to me a couple times, the, too. The barely arch dries even faster. Oh, like, does it? sets even faster than the art glitter glue. Oh, yeah. I have to get some of this stuff out of my way. Sorry, guys. Um, okay. Do you need Where help or are you okay? No, no, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Where am I? Okay, shaker stuff. If I don't put it in now, I probably won't. But before I do that, I absolutely forgot about this to give santa a little bit more life i'm gonna give him a gold sparkle to parts of him see so we're gonna do let's see how about we do his little red coat oh that's a really good idea thanks are they the dots mm -mm. pops of color Sorry, I didn't even show you. Pops of color, this is gold. I get these from scrapbook.com. And right, you know, for the last, what's it been, like two months, they've given a free one away every week when um, when you visit their their site. At least I've seen it. I think, it's, I think everybody sees it. I've gotten it. I don't think that you have to be like a special member or anything. I don't always get an email on it. Um, but I just make it a habit of visiting them. And I they're free gifts, in my opinion. They kind of help offset the shipping cost. You know, when they give a free $6 paper pack away and the shipping's $5.99, it kind of makes, kind of like free shipping. Yeah. And I like their products. They're tested. They put, um, they'll put reviews on them right there on the page. Like, you don't have to search for them. They're right at the bottom. Um, you can see them. Okay, I think this looks cool. And we'll have some gold just kind of coming out of his bag here. I had to do something. I mean, his face. Just to liven him up a little bit. His face. I do not like the face on the Santa. They really didn't put any detail in there. And it's so tiny. Maybe that's why. It's so tiny you can't, like I can't even put little pink cheeks on him. So, yes, I heard the embellishments. It's from the dollar store. What? They're from the dollar store. Oh, yeah, my embellishment. Mm -hmm. Well, my shaker inserts are. Yeah. I'm going to let him dry a little bit. Now, sometimes with shaker cards, I'll take, I'm not going to do it today, but I'll take the base here before I even glue it in. And I will use a clear embossing powder on it to give it a shimmer. I'm not going to do it with this guy because there is such a shimmer to these snowflakes that I kind of want them to stand out more than I do the back of the card. But that's an option if you ever want to do it. I like the way the snowflakes lay in there. Yeah. All right. And I didn't do them blue and I'm not going to add white ones. We're just going to kind of leave them where he is. I need them to dry. This stuff dries pretty quick. It's still tacky though. So what can I do? Oh, I can do my sentiment. No, I know. Oh, fussy cut time. Okay, so with this guy, Yay. it has it has a die cut, okay? However, if we had just used the die cut and cut all this out, our circle would have been cut out. So we just did the embossing in the machine. Um, where's my scissor? So um, that's why this isn't cut. So I have to do my favorite thing in the world and fussy cut this bad boy out. Now, one of the good things is because the ridges are there, 
it's really easy to cut. Um, and you can, I'm not going to do it on these little parts here, but you can like wrapping paper if you get the scissor in there correctly, the blade in there correctly, it'll just cut to the line. And you want to make sure that nothing is on your fingers when you're doing this. So that way it doesn't smear the acetate. Absolutely. And you don't want to put glue on acetate where it will be seen because it kind of does something to it. Um, it. I noticed when I got some on a shaker card that I was doing. Sorry, I'm concentrating. Get some on a shaker card I was doing that when I tried to get the glue off, you know, it smeared at first. So then I used my bone folder to try to kind of scrape it off. I let it dry to kind of scrape it off. And it took part of the acetate off. And then underneath of it was not shiny and clear. So it kind of blurred it. Um, it's a good technique if you're going to do a blurred snowy window. Um, I would suggest using glue for that, mixing it with some water and popping it on there, and you'll get that blurred look. But um, doesn't work well when you're trying to do a clear window, a clear shaker card. So, <coughs> excuse me, I um, I hold it with the sides of my fingers, not the tips of my fingers, unless I have to. So that way, I don't get fingerprints on it. We could use gloves, but. Oh. I don't work well with gloves. And you can't spray it. Like, you can't use water to no, go and spray it you after. Can't. You know, like, I've tried that before. Same thing happens. It smears it. So, whatever you have, you have to make sure that you don't have paint, glue, anything on your fingers when you go to touch the acetate. Once it's in a card and delivered to someone, I don't worry oh. about it anymore. <laughs> Game's off. Especially for a child, you know. A kid will get fingerprints on it and stuff, but it'll be that child's card, so. Right. It's just the whole presence of it to begin with. Yeah. You want to make sure that you, that everything's clear. And everything stays clear. And then they turn out really nice when they're done. They do. There's domes that you can buy for these things, too, so you don't have to. Um, but it takes the fun out of it. I think so. I like having the clear acetate. I think the domes look too commercial, but not that we won't use. Well, I'm probably going to order a set, but with the dome, you could actually cut this completely out. You really could. Now you want to make sure that the raised side is up. So that way, when we pop it in here, it's going to have a little bit of lift, but it's going to live there after I put... My shaker pieces in. <laughs> Is it dry? No. Wow. Okay, what else can I do? All right, we're going to stamp. Let's just let this guy dry. Do you want me to um, blow dry it for you? Mm, maybe. But that's going to create, like, noise. So. Oh, okay. But maybe. he's dry. It's drying. It's just not all the way there yet. Okay. It, it should be soon. It should be. By the time I'm done all this, it should be. Okay, so... I'm going to be stamping my sentiment with a distressed oxide ink from Ranger. Fire bri fired brick will be the color. And let's see which one. We, how about we do Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. But I'm actually going to cut the Happy New Year off. Now we found out that you can stamp on glitter paper. At least this paper you can. Mm -hmm. it's, it's textured. So nothing comes off of it though. So I don't know if call it actual glitter paper or not i'm going to be using my fiskar stamp and stamper and i love this guy i love it because it has these raised parts it has these little grippies on it i hold it well i can hold it this way i can hold it a bunch of different ways it does have grid lines on it so you can line things up and it comes in a pack of three and also has this guy now this guy has these little feet so when you don't feel like breaking out your misty <laughs> you want to be able to line it up it's got the grid lines it's got everything it just sits on top and then when you want to stamp you just push it down so this guard's for the win and i don't remember how much i paid for them you want to look that oh. up call this cars yeah yeah the fist cars stampers stamping blocks Okay. Fiskar stamping blocks. Yeah, I think that's what they're called. Okay. 
Okay, and then we'll get... Because I'm not using the Misty, I have to make sure I get this nice and inked up. So, and I tap it. I don't rub it. I've seen people rub them, and that kind of takes the stamping pad apart. So, okay. Get them on here. Did you find them? There's a box, there's a stamp set of four blocks. Yeah, with the orange on the handles. Yeah, it looks that way. Okay. How much? What are they going for? $16.94 on Amazon. All right. It's worth it, I think. There we go. Oh, look how pretty. Now I probably have to let that dry. I'm not going to let too many things dry. <laughs> that doesn't take long, though. The, the no? Sparkle paper? No, it, di it didn't take long for mine. Whoops. Sorry. All right. I guess I'm going to work on the white then on Santa because I forgot to do it. So I'm using my Jelly Roll pens in eight, and I'm just going to put little white swirls in his beard. You're not going to be able to see them on the camera, but they do show up as just being raised inside of there. So I'm just going to give him some little curly cues and do the hat while we're waiting. A little bit of curly cue? Yeah. Curly some... cue here, curly cue there. <laughs> you know, his beard, they have, you know, put little curls in his beard. And plus, oh. this helps if any ink has gotten, because I have a couple spots here where some of the red bled through. Because your, your um, watercolors, they continue to spread when, after you let the, um, the ink off of them. So keep that in mind. So, oh, they do? Yeah, they do when they're drying, if they're still wet. That's why I try really hard to use as least a least amount of water as I can. So I thought that doesn't happen. It winds up happening anyway, but it's the, it's actually the, the character of watercolor too. It's like what makes watercolor watercolor. So it's a oh, well, kind of learn something new every day. Yeah. Well, I have an, an aunt that's an artist and she does watercolors. That's true. That's so. true about your aunt. And they're usually, watercolors are usually, um, they're usually all spread out and, dark to light and they're just pretty it's the characteristic of the technique they but are when you're using pencil and gamsol oil i mean that's you're getting a different vibe altogether this put i wish you could see this it does put a nice little tiny dainty texture in here helps brighten the white up a little bit it is a pen it's a gel pen so it's kind of like a, a gelled white like i can and it raises it some right yeah it does it puts a little bit of dimension to it which is why i wanted to do it i almost forgot i almost forgot to do it so see he's just i just brightened up the white a bit and him, but he's looking better looking a lot better All looking right. like a santa okay let's try to get this guy cleaned off because this is still drying why is everything drying so slow usually it's zip bam boom. yeah and oh, especially man. if you don't use a lot of no like... i used a bunch of ink <laughs> i'm not even gonna lie oh. i used a bunch of ink because i wanted i didn't want to have to do it twice because i would have screwed it up so i did use a bunch of ink i wouldn't say i used too much because it didn't blur or anything right but I have a tester at the bottom because I'm not keeping the Happy New Year. So I can just keep testing it. Right. Cleaning your stamps off right after you use them just really helps keep them healthy and nice. Um, so we do make sure that we that we do that. We do make sure we get these puppies cleaned and stuck back on their paper. So or, that way we can keep them organized too. Yeah. Know where they're at. Yeah. We tend to keep these sheets. I think a lot of creators do. But we tend to keep our sheets that come with the packages if they're any good if not then we'll replace them with um transparency sheets let's do let's do a ho 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 yeah because it's a santa so let's do let's pop ho 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 on there i didn't notice that ho 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 that sounds like a good idea yeah it does should i do it in red or black probably black yeah where are you putting it? On the inside? I don't know yet. Somewhere. We'll figure it out. I should have probably done... Oh, you know what would have been cool? The black paper with the white. 
the white background or the white ink. Yeah, that would have been neat. Next time. Had to remember that. Oh, ho, 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 it was cute. It was very cute. Oh, and he's gonna dry fast too. He's gonna dry super fast. Give me something to do so we're not just sitting here waiting for paint to dry. Tootling thumbs. Yeah, right. Dig it. Because I can't. Is it still sticky? He's still sticky. It's that glitter Are you sure? that pops a color. I'm afraid they're gonna melt. I'm afraid the pops of colors are gonna melt. You know what? Let's do this. We're gonna go dry this. We're gonna find a way to get it dry. Now let's get to fussy cutting. Gotta love our fussy cotton. No, absolutely. Can't you just hear how thrilled I am? Don't I just sound so thrilled? You sound just as thrilled as I do. Oh, you're <laughs> much more relaxed at this than I am. Okay, so we're going to get rid of the Happy New Year. I'm actually not going to use that part. I'm just going to use the Christmas part. You know that moment when you have a sneeze that's right there? <laughs> I hate Because you sit there waiting for it. <laughs> Like a dog with a bone, you wait for it. That, that's where it was like, holy crap, it's right at the tip of my nose. And then you don't want to sneeze into the mic. Nope, you definitely don't want to do that. I fold my paper down when it starts to get in the way of my scissor. And I just kind of rock my scissor back and forth just to get some little groovies in there. The thing with fussy cutting, um, you really need to keep... It even, and that's the most challenging part of it for me, is trying to keep it all nice and even. I know you say I do a great job of it, but I get nervous every time I have to do it. You do, you you do do a great job. Like I think your fussy cutting's a lot better than mine. Um, I don't know about all that, because you're able to make those like little humps in there. I just bubbles. wave. I just wave the scissor. That's all. I just wave the scissors. Maybe it's the whole lefty thing. Maybe. Because being a righty, you know. But if you look at me, I'm cut. I use my scissor. What what hand do you hold the scissor in? Right hand. The so do I. So that can't be it. Okay. <laughs> because when I was growing up, they, they were not accommodating for left-handed people. Um, I tried out for softball, and they did not have a left-handed bat. So I thought a bat could I mean, be either hand. No, not bat. Sorry. Mitt. I meant mitt. They didn't have a left-handed mitt, so I had to learn how to use my right hand for a lot of stuff. And it really, when I was learning guitar, somebody gifted me. It was amazing. Someone found out I was left-handed, and they had a left-handed guitar, and they gifted gifted it to me i was That's so awesome. so thrilled however i couldn't play the dang thing i tried i couldn't do it i'll never forget my kid my kid is our only lefty in the family which one emily nice I and that's i i they say that lefties are more artistic do they Th that's what they say hmm. because they use the opposite side of the brain and that's the artistic part of the brain but my, both my kids have had their own talents. Right. But Emily went and started writing with her right hand. And I'm, I asked her, what are you doing? She said, just in case I ever break my left arm. Oh, that's hilarious. So I said, okay. Kids say the funniest things. You know, I once asked my niece. She was um, losing her teeth and her mom told her like all about the tooth fairy. So I was there one night. When one of she finally got this like front tooth out, like she tried everything. She tried like the string on the doorknob. She tried to get her sister to do it. She tried to get her mom to do it. And her mom kept telling her, it's going to do it. It's going to fall out all on its own. So it did. It did the day I was there. She finally ripped it out. And she comes out and she's all excited. You know, she's going to get her $5 or whatever it was. $5. And um, however much break. I always gave my kids 20 bucks For a tooth? For a tooth. I always did that. Always. Because there's always just an excuse for them to save money. Um, you give my kids anything less than... If you gave my children anything less than $20 when they were younger, they didn't want to put it in the bank. But my guys were trained very young. Like when their first Christmas, my in-laws opened 
a bank account for them and like told everybody about it. So it became this thing that if the kids got, you know, $20, it went in the bank. But if you gave them anything less than 20, they wanted to go to Walmart or, you know, a candy Wawa. store or Wawa. Um, so we always gave them 20 cause it always went in the bank. Um, so anyway, back to Brittany, my niece, <laughs> my niece, Brittany comes out and she's like, you know, blood coming out of mouth and everything, you know, from yanking this, this tooth out. And her mom was like, honey, are you okay? And I wanted to distract her because she started to get upset because she had blood in her hand. So she obviously didn't realize that, you know, when it happened that it was there. So she's got, she starts freaking out a little bit and starts to cry. And I'm like, Hey, Brett, she's like, what? And I said, what do you think the tooth fairy does with all these teeth that, that um, she collects? And Brittany thought about it for a second. And, of course, now she's not crying. Her mom's working on her face. And she goes, it's the funniest thing. She she stopped and looked at me. And she was like, oh, she takes them all and glues them together for people like Pop-Pop. Because <laughs> he had dentures. <laughs> it was genius. I was like, this kid is a freaking genius. That's awesome. It was so funny. It was so well, that's, funny. My daughter used to write notes to the tooth fairy. Did thanking she? her for the teeth. Yep. Or thanking her thanking her for the money for and taking her teeth. Was that your idea or she came up with that on she her own? She did it on her own. She's so polite. Even she as an adult, own. she's polite. For everyone tells you how sweet she is. And she wanted to, she couldn't understand how the tooth fairy yeah. had so much money. So she went and got some of her coins and gave it back to the tooth fairy. Oh so that God. way she had some for the next half. She was tithing. <laughs> she was tithing. I was like, that's so awesome. <laughs> she was tithing to the tooth fairy. Okay, so should I put this guy on the side? I could put him down on the side here. Do it that's, on the side. He's a little big for down there. So I think, yeah, like maybe. Do a little tilt. Yeah, that's what I'm. I kind of like him on this side, though. Change yeah. it up and put him on the other side. I think I'm going to do this. Oh, I think I'm going to do this side. I do. I think that's what I'm going to do. Get him on there. Oh, the heat's working. Oh, good. Yeah, you said your back was bothering you. I'm glad you turned it on. You were, um, most people know, but we're, we're disabled. We have, like, health stuff. And um, sometimes we can't film every day. Sometimes we can't work every day. And today just seems to be one of those stiff and sore days. But we do promise it's... you guys a video on a, on Tuesday. So we have to finish. So so humid outside, too. Is it? I wasn't. I didn't. Yeah, outside. when I came over, it was um, like it rained pretty good last night. And then it was raining this morning. Okay. And we got so accustomed to the nice days that we were having. Right. Yeah. And then the humidity kicked up again. All right, so these guys come from the Dollar Tree, and they have them around Christmas time. This is this is uh, from our stash, and I love these little glass bottles. I mean, they're perfect for little things like this. Like we wait until these jars get like half full or a quarter of the way full, and then we transfer them to these. And these are just so much easier. Oh wait, I really should probably measure it. You don't want to put so much in your shaker card that you cover up the picture. So I'm just going to throw a few snowflakes down at the bottom. So you can Little kind of D. see where <laughs> that is your favorite freaking saying. And then I have some of these. They're from Recollections. Christmas Noel snowflakes. I think Kali is these on, on her card. Oh, I like the glitter that's in there. That that like gives us new tape. It does. A it's... little. So we'll put just a couple. I'm not going to do a, a ton. Because like I said, you don't want to put so many in that you can't see the picture. And we've got some presents down here. So we don't want to cover up the presents. And who doesn't get candy for Christmas? Probably a dentist child. Somebody's going to answer that. <laughs> Somebody's going to have some, some. Oh, this one's not even open. Oh, wow. Where is this one from? This is Recollections as well. Oh, I um, think we got them on sale. We buy things after the season. Like we stock <laughs> stores for their clearance sales. And that's how we collect our stuff for the next year. I really want to get candy in here. But 
God bless you. There's that sneeze Thank she's you. been waiting for. I just get a Couldn't few. Couldn't get it out there. More than I wanted, but that's okay. Been waiting for another one, too. Couple pieces of candy. I tell them not to cover the stuff on the bottom, and look what I did. I did this one. And then for a little added sparkle, now I gotta be super, super careful because this is glitter, and it's a fine, misty glitter. So we're just gonna shake some of that in there. And I gotta make sure I don't get any of it on my globe because it will not stick. So I have this brush. It's a recollections brush. We live right down the street from a Michaels and we're constantly getting sale stuff. So we go to Michaels quite a bit. Yeah, that was so good when they put a Michaels in here. It was. Yeah, we didn't have anything here. I mean, we're a resort community, but we had nothing. I think that's why people like to come here in the because there was nothing summer because there was like there was nothing like the city. It still isn't, but our roads are getting bigger. Like things are changing here. They're changing a lot. Oh, I didn't mention this is from Nouveau. Um, I need to get Colleen one of these. I just wanted to make sure it was as good as I thought it was going to be. It's metal. It's heavy. It has a spoon on one side, a little scooper on the other. Works great for these kinds of things. Oh, cool. So you can measure out what you're getting in there. Yeah, I didn't even let you know that that came in. Okay. So Hiding it on me, are you? Not really. I just, <laughs> I'm just saying, I didn't even mention it came in. I just started using it. <laughs> to open that up. I got this. This came on a day that, um, that you I weren't wasn't here. That you weren't here. Yeah. We usually, call usually sticks around. Um, Mail usually delivers to the studio between like 3.30 and 4. And she usually sticks around to see what came. Because we, we both have our own Amazon accounts and we both order stuff. But um, we don't always tell the other one what we're ordering because we get busy. And sometimes I send my order here. That's true. You did it the one day and my husband was like, what are all these boxes? I'm like, I have no idea. And they came in Colleen's name. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, she's sending her stuff here. It's like, yeah, it's easier. Then she doesn't Only have to worry about carrying it. has to get in the studio. Yeah, she doesn't have to worry about carrying it. She doesn't have to worry about carrying it over. I got to cut out that ho, ho, ho. I cannot get the edge of this up. Do you need help? Day. Maybe. I don't know. Let me try my pokey tool. Usually, they ha don't they have a little tab on there them There is something? a tab, but um, it is not broken. Well, this stuff sticks so darn well, I am going to regret this. I know it. Oh, you didn't Nope, use... I didn't get any on it. Okay, so let me make sure. Watch, I'm just going to wind up taking off an edge. Yes. Nope, there we go. I got it. Cool. All right. Now I'm going to grab my ah, sticky scissor. This stuff is so darn sticky. Grab my cutter piece. Okay, now it's all like... You sound like a doctor over there. Now it's all bound to me. Ugh, get out of here. It's, I don't have anything in the trash can either, so it's kind of hard to get it. All right. One of the things I like about double stick tape is one side is sticky, the other side is not. So let's see if we can get this. And the key to it that I do is I lay the tape on the table because you really, really, really only want to get this to where it's going to be sticking to the paper. And you can kind of overlap it a little bit. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. But you can kind of over overlap it a little bit. There's nothing wrong with that. You just want to make sure that you do not go out of the circle because then all of your shaker elements will stick to the sides of the acetate and you do not want that to happen. Paul, you glue, don't I you? I do glue. You don't use this stuff. I used, I used glue on the window card that I just made. And um, I have used glue on my shaker cards and what I realized with the window card the acid like I had a double side I wasn't going to double side it but I had to what because, do you mean double side what does that mean um like put the outline of the globe on the inside okay oh I, was, I gotcha I wasn't going to do that but then looking at the acetate you saw the glue dries clear but you could see the clear glue 
through yeah, the back of the you car. You don't get away with it being invisible. So that's why I went and, and put another outline of the globe on the inside. Plus, I think it looks better. But I have used it on shaker cards, and you have to be really careful. And before you go to shake it, you have to make sure the glue's dried. Well, that's true. That That's very true. I mean, how? in all honesty, though, how many pieces of acetate have you destroyed because it got glue on it? I've destroyed a few. Like about three or four. And you've never tried the tape? Never tried I don't tried think the tape. we've ever really had it this, had them this small. In a while. We haven't had them. Never tried the tape. Okay. So what I do is I take it off a little bit. And the reason I do that is because I still have to put another piece over this to make sure that there are no holes. So we're going to burnish this down nice and tight all the way around before I reveal it. Oh, you're putting it on the acetate first. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how you do it. Or that's how I do it. Do you... Would you think you would do it? Oh, I because you, you would put glue. it on the glue first. No. no, no, no. We gotta put it on here first. I always work from that way I can make sure it's adhered and there's no holes gotcha. or things. And then you just reveal it. Now some people reveal it a little bit at a time. I am just going to go for it. Whack it off of here. Did you mention where to get the paper pencils from? The paper pencils we got from we got ours from Michaels, but I did Michaels find a Hobby Lobby. I did find a really cool set on Amazon that I oh that's right told the you the eighty two yeah, yeah, yeah. eighty two piece set yeah and it comes with more than just the pe the pencils it comes it, with other stuff or no too. it's it's a blending set or it's an art set yeah that yeah. has eighty four pieces to it. And it's eleven ninety nine on sale at Amazon. It's usually like eighteen twenty bucks. I'll be ordering that because we're getting low on these things. Yeah, and I've been I've been saving mine for um. Like I kind of use the same colors with them, instead of going and trying to trying to pick it apart and then do a new color. Right, right. So I think I will try and see if it'll go in the pencil sharpener. But the pencil sharpener is only good for. Um, certain sizes and these these come really big sizes and really tiny sizes that's true they do come in different so sizes it's kind of okay. hard to to do that you know to do the pencil sharpener for all of them um so i i try to tend to use the same colors yeah i talked about that and with 82 i mean that's a lot of them okay so i just kind of work this around not to interrupt you just kind of work this around, and then I will. Did you, yeah, you put the shaker pieces. Burnish in. it. I did. <laughs> Don't start. <laughs> that was when I first. Like, that was yeah, when I, I first started. <laughs> but I repeated it. I repeated it like four or five times. On, she's not kidding. On the same card, I'd be like, "Oh my gosh, I did it again." It was hysterical. Because you get. I was getting nervous about doing this part right here. About doing this. I was getting so nervous about doing that. I think that's why. Okay. I'm not shaking it yet, guys. Not yet. And this is not going to show. So we're going to glue the bottom of it. We're going to glue it up. I left the thing off the glue too long. This is something that I do. This is like habitual for me to leave the top off the glue. I, I don't know why. Oh, I've got. But you put the fear in me with that it would end up drying out the whole bottle. So I make sure that I go and do the. <laughs> I never said it would dry out the whole bottle, no. but it will. It will clog the tip. You told me that it dries up quick. Oh, so you would so think that I was like petrified, and I was like the glue monitor when we were here when I first started. Oh my gosh, you were horrible. You would and tell go everybody and say, your pins out. Your pins, your pins out. out. That that was she put was your like, pin back in. Your pins out, lady. When she first started here, she was she was watching it. Don't forget your pin. You got your pin. And at that time, we weren't buying the refill packs. No. Like, I no. didn't even know they existed. I wasn't buying refill packs. I was just buying the four-ounce bottles. And then I, when I found the eight-ounce bottles, I tried to put my four-ounce cap on it. But now we buy the big Mamba Jamba, so. And they've been working out well. They do work out well. That's a lot of glue I've got under there, so that should stick well. When I'm working and I get glue and something on my hand so I don't have to, like, run into the next room to, 
get my hands taken care of, I do it. No, Gunny. With a little spray. Good boy. Well, he knows that. How do, how do dogs tell time? I mean, what is the indication that it is almost 4 o'clock and, and you're leaving? What is his indication? You haven't put a coat on. You're not doing anything. But oh, every man. day, same time, this dog is at her feet. Well, plus, when she leaves, she spends like five minutes scratching his belly. Scratching his butt. In his butt. Her and her husband love this bulldog. Damn. Gunny off. Go. All right. So, got that glued on. Now, I'm going to burnish it burnish. all around. You're so funny. You're going to correct me every time. <laughs> it's hysterical. You're Absolutely hysterical. hysterical. You're hysterical. Okay, and for the very first time, ready? And shaking it up. Okay, Let's snowflakes see. fell. Why? Snowflakes fell where? Out of the, well, they must not have fallen out of the car. So now it has that glitter. See it? What it did? It kind of stuck to the bottom. So when I shake it, can you see the glitter? Yeah, kind of stuck to the. To the bottom there where all the little grooves were. And it added to the dimension. So he looks pretty cool. So there's our shaker. Everything falls at the bottom. Just little presents just pit, you know, peek through. So when they pull the card out, that's what they're going to see. Oh, it's so uh, cute. It looks good. I'm happy with it. Okay. I think it came out great. Now, let me do my fussy cut on my ho, ho, ho. I think, I'm gonna, ho, ho, ho. I think I'm going to try to put him on the actual... It may not work, but I'm going to give it a go. On the actual globe? Like down yeah, on the bottom? That's what I'm thinking. Cool. That's what I'm thinking. I don't do the insides of my cards like Hal does. Yeah, I like doing the insides. If I have a... Like, if we're using the Cricut, I will. If I'm making a card specifically for someone, you can... If you have a Cricut... Um, you may or may not know this. If you have a Cricut and you learn how to, I'll do a video on it. But if you learn how to do the offsets, you don't have to fussy cut. Of course, Cricut cuts it yourself, but you can actually get the Cricut to fussy cut for you. And then you can type a personal message in there to someone. I wouldn't sign it with the Cricut, but you can put a personal message in there for someone. Um, people appreciate that. Yeah, I just did that with, uh, with the card I sent to somebody for a condolence card, sympathy card. You also did it for a birthday, I think, too. I think you did a birthday card, too, that you did it with. She loves the Cricut. She loves working in design space. Design space is simple um, and a little, and it doesn't do everything I want. I'm used to doing edits, like video editing and content creating and stuff. So Cricut design space is so basic, it frustrates me it does because i want to do something and it won't let me do it i guess i'm just basic <laughs> no that's not what i mean you i know you are learning all this stuff like you you're getting a but computer I like it. and everything soon i like it i like it a lot <laughs> So when I upgraded the system here, I upgraded our computer system because the other one could not run. It was old, older. It could do OBS, but it could not do our editing software, which we use DaVinci. So I having that redone for Miss Colleen so she can have a big computer at her place. And I'm hoping that... Um, She'll have her craft room done soon. She is doing one. And I'm hoping Eventually. She'll, she'll have that done maybe this upcoming year. And um, we'll be cra we'll have two spaces to craft that. Kind of get a different um, atmosphere going. Yeah. Because all of our stuff is um, travelable. We can travel with it all. Everything breaks down and goes in a bag. I'll have to change the door handle on the door, though. What do you mean? The door? It has... It has a a lift, type, not a round knob, but the long knob to where the dog can go in. And oh, like open my the door. Yeah, all my doors are like that. And if we're doing crafts in there, I don't want the dog or the cats, the dogs or the cats to go in there. Yeah, cats will lay on everything. 
So I'd like to keep it, the room's hair free, so I'd like to keep it that way. Well, here with this studio, I really can't. No, yours, open. yours is out in the open. Mine, yeah. But I can do mine with, you know, behind a closed door, so. Yeah. That way I can keep the hair down to a minimum. I have a crap, I have two rooms upstairs um, that I used to use for the stuff. However, I can't do the stairs anymore, so it kind of stinks. Half my house I can't even go into. That's why I was glad when I put the addition on. We only did it one level. Yeah. Well, the, it was the attic, and, and it was converted to two bedrooms. Well, I was thinking about going up, but then I'm thinking, I already had one back surgery. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> and what am I going to do when the kids aren't here and not go upstairs? No, I so. took over a room. Well, we don't really have, um, our kids are all grown now. They all have their own, you know, family starting and stuff. And we're starting to do, um, like the holidays, they're spending time with, um, other in-laws. Yeah, yeah. Like others. Oh, I think I'm going to put it there. I think it needs a little bit of color. So we're just gonna do... Some Copic coloring here. And where do you get Copics at? At uh, Michael's? I got some of them at Michael's and actually started... Michael's doesn't sell the refill kits. So when I buy them now, I buy them with refill kits. So I have been getting them from Etsy and I can list the gal. She's great. She um, ships very, very quickly, and I had in the, I don't know, three or four years, two or three years, however long, I've been doing Copics. Um, I have only had one issue with her, and let me tell you something. She corrected that so quickly. Oh, yeah, that's great. She sent me um, two of the exact same markers instead of what I ordered. Like right. I ordered the flower and midtone or whatever it was. And um she sent me two of the flower and I didn't get the midtone. So I emailed her. I told her I would mail them back, not a problem. And um she was she was so sweet and so kind about it. She's like, don't worry about it. It's okay. Go ahead and keep them and gift them to somebody else. I'll send you out another pair today. And within a few days I had one. So Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, she was really good. That's good customer with service it. too. Absolutely. And you don't find that too much. No. Even, you know, Amazon returns. Like I had what was that thing that we got? Um the trimmer things. Remember those? Oh, the little ones? This guy advertised on Amazon that he was selling these trimmers. And how much were they? They were they like were a two something. Yeah, and they a were dollar cheap. Or something. So and... we go through trimmer. We were going through trimmer so quickly here because of how many people were crafting here. So we had, you know, we would go through trimmer blades in a week. And um we ordered how many of those? Twenty. I ordered. I ordered at least twelve. Yeah, and I did. I think we did. I think it was like twenty. No, it was like twenty-four. I think we both did a dozen. So, but they were coming from China. So they were going to take a month to come in. So we we're like, yeah, you know, no big deal. And we, you know, we figured if we, you know, if it didn't work out, the most we were out was like six bucks. I mean, it, they right. were really cheap. So, uh, and he's got like a picture of the trimmer on there and he had the trimmer cutting paper. I mean, his photos were, I'm like, there's no, why is this guy selling them like this? And we were thinking, oh, maybe it was just an overstock of a no name trimmer. Even if they only work once, it was, it was worth still, it yeah. because of how many, you know, how many we were going through. So they come in and they're blades and they weren't even good blades. They were just this cheap plastic stuff and then i go back on the site and i look it switched and i'm like not the not in the beginning by the time you got yeah, yours it yeah. did but i actually called amazon because i'm like look this guy promised trimmers and i got trimmer blades so um he was made to correct the site and he wanted me to pay the shipping to send them back. No. He did. That was that big, long email fuss I had with this guy. So I'm like, yo, this is not going to happen. I'm not paying for I anything. I had to send one set back. Right. And they uh, they paid for the shipping. 
And then the other the you other set the top. they went and they uh refunded my money and told me to keep it. Yeah, he didn't he didn't make you send he didn't make you send it back. He I had to send mine back. He wanted me to pay for it, and that's why I called Amazon. I'm not I'm not paying for this because he's the one that said that they were um trimmers. Right. And then he changed his, you know, he changed his website and everything. I'm going to pop this guy on in two ways. I'm going to put my bow on. I'm using a bow. I'm going to put my bow on in two ways. I'm going to put the double sticky dots on the back of it. And I'm going to put a small dot of our glitter glue. That way it has a double adhesion and I'm not worried about going anywhere. That's going to look so cute. So get that on there. This is a pre-made bow. I can tie bows, but I cannot tie them this tiny anymore. My fingers don't want to work for that. Okay, so my double, my double-sided sticky. Look at that stuff. Ew. But you can pull this stuff, stretch it enough, and pull it, and it'll snap. It'll snap off and stay behind there. So you don't have to have it showing. I learned that a while ago. So I don't even bother using the small dots. I just use the big ones when I do this. I had to make sure I don't get any of it on the... There we go. Whoops. No, don't that get it on the acetate. Not going to go anywhere. Look at that. It's not going Sweet. anywhere. Even if a kid has it. This isn't going to a child, though. So there we go. Ho, ho, ho. Now, I'm going to do some embellishing. So I can get rid of these guys for now. I have a couple, but I really do like this one. Let me get my drawer back. We really should do the, the tour of this craft room this week. <laughs> that would be good. Now I have I have the holly berries too I could put on here. Maybe, maybe. But right now I want to work on the ho 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 down here. So let's go with three. So let's do one beneath each H. And I will do them in green since red is already there. I, I don't know if you guys use these, but these are those wax pickup tools. They are so awesome. And once they grab the glue and there's more pressure, they just let go. They don't even hold on. They're great. They're they great are. to use. I really like them a lot. And then it helps you keep the... Like even if you get um little ones on the ta on your table and you want to put them back where they belong, mm -hmm. you can use it to pick pick up what you need to pick up. Yeah, this guy works great. Um, I got him off of Amazon. I'll try to find it. Uh, it was a while ago. Like, it was a couple of years ago. I got it, but I think I only paid a couple dollars for it. The only it has a pokey tool at the other end too, which I I use a lot. Um, the only thing is you can't refill them. Oh, they don't sell refills for these. So once they're done, they're done. But I bought a ton of them. So I had them. I don't know why I put that away. I still need it. Okay, so we've got our four, three down here. Do I want to? I feel like I'm forgetting something. Your ribbon? The ribbon. Oh, yeah. Okay. Thanks, girl. You doing ribbon? I don't know. I, th I want to, but I noticed that it was so crinkly. I don't know if it's going to lay right. And I did put the bow around there. I think the bow looks nice. I think the ribbon on the side, if it were straight and not crinkly, I think yeah. I would do it. But yeah, no, I'm going to leave it. And yeah, this bow is going to take your attention away from Santa's non-detailed face. You can't even see it. But his face has so little detail in it, it's sad. I think I'm going to put the mistletoe up here. Well, not mistletoe. Holly leaves up here. There you go. Let's do that. Let's do that. And we will call this card complete. Woo! -hoo. Yay. Another one down. Whoops. So what did you like best about making these cards, Colleen? I, I think they can be used for any... Like, you can use them for anything. Like, not just Christmas time. Well, they're Santa. I know, but <laughs> you could use the snow globe <laughs> part. Oh, yeah. I see what you're saying. It's like, wait a minute. Where are you going For with any this? any time. Right. Well, that's true. I mean, you, you, you could. You could. We could get, um, oh, my gosh. Now you've got my head full of ideas. We could get, like, uh, Paris. Um, 
I can't remember. Eiffel Tower. My brain is not working. Ah, yeah, that's what I was after. You get the Eiffel Tower. I say that because I have a, a globe in the other room that has it on it. And all we need is, um, no, we don't even need that stamp. Like we don't need, we don't need to use. You don't have the to use a round that stamp, we use. right? No, but I like when they come with the sets because. Oh yeah. It makes it a lot easier to to be able to find things. Yeah, it's and mindless. You just they're coordinated, but it, it's good that you don't have to use it just one time during the year. Yeah, I see where you're going with that. I'll get it out eventually. I'll see where your thinking is. Okay, so we have sticky crap stuff. Sorry, we have sticky stuff in here. I have to get out because of. I'm just gonna pull them off. They're not work. These aren't working out. With this double-sided stuff. It's oh, supposed no. to just be on the back of the berries, but it seems to be like a whole giant piece. So let's I think they were they were on the back of the berries and the holly. Peel it off. Yeah, but they want you to use the, it's a square piece that they have. Like it's not um where'd it go? <laughs> oh you it went there. I got it. I gotta get it off of here. There we go. Let go. It's not going to let go. Oh, no. That's not good. I'm going to let go of my finger, but it wouldn't stick to the card. Go figure. So That's not good at all. <clears throat> see, you didn't see that, right? You guys missed it, right? Yep. We missed it totally. I just tried to pick one up with my tweezers, and it went flying. So let's not do that again. <laughs> oh, there we go. He's just going to come right off for me. Good deal. No way. No way. Did you do it? It's not coming off the t table now. Okay, card's going to be done as it is with just two little leaves on it because I can't. There we go. Oh, no. Can't get a hold of these hollies. Here we go. I got it. Done that. Done that. There's one. But I, I did enjoy making the cards. They, they, uh. I like that you can do different fun. techniques with them too. I wouldn't suggest coloring these guys with Copics, though, because the details are so tiny. Not the Santa. I did the snowman, and he turned out awesome. But um, Santa and I, we did not get along. You're not friends. We did not get along as far as being able to color him with Copics. I tried. I tried a few times. I just, you tried quite a bit. He, yeah, he just wasn't having it. The de It's his face. I mean, everything else was fine, but I wasn't going to do watercolor on one part and... Copic on the other. I was too afraid of what that was going to do. There we go. Now we're working. I'm going to have to remember that. I think these holly leaves, I think these actually came from Hobby Lobby. So I'm going to have to remember that to check and make sure. Speaking of dog hair in the craft room. Yep. I'm going to have to check and make sure that there's not a solid. It was a solid square. I mean, it's not even cut out. You can see it on the back of this. It's just a solid square. So you have all this extra sticky on here for stuff to adhere to. And yeah. yes, I know I'm missing a berry. That's okay. Oh, no, on the thing I put oh. it, I stole it from the other from the other one. Do you have a berry? I do. You have everything you need? I do. I think we're good. I think this is our card. And my favorite thing about it was showing you guys how to make it. That's awesome. <laughs> so like, subscribe. Please leave us a comment. Um, be kind. Be kind to us. Be kind to your neighbor. And your neighbor will be kind to you. This has been Carrie. And Colleen. With scissors to paper crafting. Happy, Happy crafting. crafting.